Okay, guys, highlights from uh, Monday, greatstockpicks.com, live trading chat room. I, I tell you, I just was out of it today, couldn't find much of anything. It was a slow grind. Um, so I thought I would make a bottom feeding lesson on the one. I, I basically called two trades in Arena Phar Pharmaceuticals, ARNA. One worked, one didn't. Uh, basically a wash between the two of them and then CHKP. But man, I missed a bunch of good setups, just like we teach on stocks I was watching. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't drink, so it's not a hangover on Monday, but I'm just slow to get going today. Um, definitely under traded. I tell people not to over trade. I definitely under traded today. But um, so I thought I would just use this video to point out the one uh, the one trade I called and projected to our members late in the day, um, and use it to give a bottom feeding lesson because it's it's one uh, one of the setups that I think I'm pretty good at calling. Um, this is hardly a knock it out of the park trade, but uh, it's still a great trading lesson nonetheless. So this is CHKP. Um, was just getting killed. It got killed on Friday and then again today, okay? Um, just kept lighting up the 52-week lows ticker. Um, so at some point, I decided to look at this. I went out on the daily. I had to scroll way back, um, turn this on the projector for everybody to see, and said, you know what? Now, now we're going way back, but this did have a long base back here in uh, December, and I'm not talking about just last December, another December ago. Um, but still, I'm looking for a two-day sell-off down to the 45 area I'm going back on the chart looking for any kind of relationship for lack of a better term that CHKP has had in the last couple of years with the whole number 45 um, so you had this base here and then if you notice here it, it popped and then sold off but uh, support right here again I mean, bounced off 45 now that's going way back so it's not really strong support but it made 45 interesting to me nonetheless considering Remember, this isn't CHKP just grinding down to 45. This is a big two-day sell-off. So you've got a scenario where we're overdue for a bounce anyway and a relationship with this number, um, albeit quite a ways ago. All right, so let's go back to five-minute candles. And this is what CHKP looked like when I first started projecting it onto our member screens. Um, what I teach people to do is loosely connect the tops of the candles in your mind or with a drawing tool and um, I like this isn't a perfect what I call a PFPD potential final push down I like to see uh, the, the, sh the line that I'm drawing here that you can draw in your mind across the tops of the candles for a potential final push down would roughly look like this it would just be grinding lower some hiccups and then go into a shape change okay um, this one you had this long base so this to me was just a base breakdown it's much less interesting to look for a bounce at this point but remember the relationship I said with 45 so I did start watching it um, I like the volume I did start watching it at 45 okay it just starts grinding no discernible shape there grinding lower and so at this point I said to everybody I'm not gonna try to play this off of five minute candles anytime you have to squint to see a setup or to see a break of a previous candles high um, that's never a good thing um, as far as looking for a setup so um, what I said when it looked like this was you know what I'd like to see a nice push down away from 45 because I'm half expecting no matter how far down it goes a retest of 45 before the close that's exactly how I worded it and uh, it's still grinding so no shape here now it becomes interesting volumes increasing and let me get the drawing tool going again if you loosely connect these candles Look what have you see the shape change there see it start to sh I could probably add one more candle whoops I didn't mean to show you that part but that's okay you loosely connect these candles you see that it's subtle but you see the shape change see that and nice volume this this little look right here when that shape changes that is what a potential intraday bottom looks like couple that with the fact that it's below that 45 number but it's fallen for two straight days to get there I'm looking for a bounce to take us back up near 45. Um, at this point, because of the shape change, I uh, literally switched to two minute candles, so I'll show you what it looked like. All right, now you can see the shape change even better using two minute candles. So I liked everything about this at this time. Um, and I'll loosely connect the tops of these candles, you'll see the shape change, see it? Right there. Um, big volume on that last candle, little bottoming tail. I called it long over this candle if, it, if the next candle breaks it, 44.62. Um, stop can either go, I said, an arbitrary 20 cents to give you some wiggle room or just below this candle at 44.55. That's 7 cents risk. There's the trigger. 40, uh, the 7 cent stop never gets hit. Look at this. Grinds higher. And look, remember I said it. I expected a retest of 45. 
right near the close almost gets there. And I literally sold my last few shares a couple minutes before the close. So uh, scaled out all the way up into that. Now again, this isn't a this isn't a great trade that deserves to be bragged about in a highlight video other than it's a great lesson on waiting for that shape change, checking the daily chart to look for support, and then using different time frame candles for the entry. Um, and I had a nice little trade in this at the end of the day. Um, and uh, that's it. I didn't have any other trades. Um, Alcoa reported after the bell earnings season officially underway. I expect the rest of the week to be, um, you know, a lot, a lot more ideas. And maybe I got my my Monday uh, <laughs> frozen molasses brain behind me so we can get some more calls. Um, but they're really, it was it was a pretty low volume day. So I, I think the rest of the week will be much better. But um, there is a brief summary of how I look to play intraday bottoms. Um, a lot of people might look at this and say, well, why didn't you just short CHKP? Well, I didn't even catch my radar. I wasn't watching it at all, okay, um, until it did this push down to, uh, to 45. Um, yeah, I saw it earlier in the day lighting up the 52-week low sticker. But when I, you know, later in the afternoon when I saw it lighting it up again, I thought, you know, hey, this thing is worth a look. And then I discovered everything I just showed you. So uh, that's where the trade came from. Again, uh, it would have been a much better short at the open, but I wasn't even looking at it. So this was a trade that just came from watching scanners, putting forth a thesis, and then waiting till for it to set up, and then trading the plan. So there you go. Nothing to brag about, but paid me nonetheless. All right. Have a good night. We'll talk to you guys later.